what's a dead giveaway that someone is not actually as wealthy as they claim? 90 of the wealthy shut the fuck about it, because they learn once they start making good money everyone wants a piece. X200B. Talking about it constantly broke AF. Making the claim at all is a dead giveaway. People who actually are wealthy mostly try to hide it. As a person which knows many very rich people, I can guarantee that not a single one of them wants to be known as rich. When they constantly talk about how wealthy they are, a genius doesn't need to tell you they are smart. An athlete doesn't need to tell you they are fit. And a rich person shouldn't need to tell you they are wealthy. When they repeatedly and adamantly tell you how wealthy they are. I feel like actual rich people prioritize vacations travel, buying their kids cars, paying for their kids grandkids tuition. They don't spend money on flashy or luxury stuff as much. Not having actual money? I allegedly used to sell weed to a lot of people with nice houses, cars, lives on paper etc but the amount of times I had to spot people until they got paid on Friday was truly astounding. I never met a wealthy person that talks about it. They don't need to. Ever notice how those jet-setting influencers that post their pictures out of the airplane window are behind the wing? They're in coach. The picture in business is where they stopped to pose on the way through. I'm not well versed in judging someone's wealth, but I do notice that the fake rich only look rich on social media and try their hardest to go to popular locations celebrities post. I know a couple of friends of friends who took out a loan just to keep up the facade that they're all in on the latex iPhones and wearables. They built a persona of being a rich kid, so now they have to stay the course. Money talks, wealth whispers. Anyone that posts about their wealth whether it be bragging, or posting about a new purchase, etc. usually aren't as well off as they pretend to be. Private jet pilot friend of mine said for the slightly wealthy they bring loads of luggage. The ultra rich bring a day bag they have enough money to buy clothes when they get there or already have clothes waiting on them. My dad entire job is managing millionaire billionaire philanthropy accounts, so I've grown up surrounded by some of the wealthiest people in the country, and I never knew until I got older how these Mr. Smith and Ms. Jones people that I'd grown up hanging out with were anything above upper middle class. Normal clothes, modest homes, very down to earth and funny people. Big wealth, and especially old wealth, is quiet wealth. Designer clothes with massive brand name icons are tailored to those who want to seem as if they can afford it and pay ridiculous amounts of money. When they flaunt it. Really rich people don't feel the need to mention the expensive things they bought or did every time. They want to go away with you for the weekend and tell you they'll have the Gulfstream G550 pick you up at the local airfield Friday evening. You show up at the airfield only to find that G550 is really a barely functioning 74 Cessna 150 with the passenger seat tripped out for skydiving. You know all these Insta girls living the life aboard magnificent luxurious yachts. Well their currency is their ass. The Lambo is a rental or a Fiero kit car. Sorry but Gucci clothes. It screams wanna be rich. They make a goofy advertisement for some book or course that will help you get rich too. If they were actually rich, they would be on some tropical beach engaging in whatever vices they enjoy most not hawking some get rich quick scheme. Having been around some super wealthy people, I would say that a giveaway of a false rich person would be knowing the price of things. If someone keeps telling you that the X they got cost dollar, and that Y cost dollar, they are trying to flex on you. Really wealthy people don't know the price of things, or at least the price of things that we the poor know. They might know the price of their yacht jet helicopter. They don't know the price of the car they drive, the clothes they wear, the tech they use. They just pay or have their people pay for them. Teeth, shoes, and an expensive car sitting outside a mediocre or crappy house. Brand names plastered over everything they own. They get hauled into court on fraud charges for overstating the value of their properties in order to grift money from lenders. 
food stockpiling. There is too much food going bad in the pantries of all the individuals I know who were raised in poverty, including myself. A stack of losing lottery tickets. They constantly hit up people for money or to cover their tabs. Lot of gaudy gold furnishings. Wearing fake watches. Wealthy people often have luxury watches because they value the craft of watches or they give it to themselves as a medal for achievements. Fake watches are for people that want to look rich but are not rich. When they're in shock that I grew up with four people and only one bathroom and shower. So you all shared one shower? According to the Waltons, it's their shoes. That don't seem to actually have any money. You see it a lot in things like sports teams takeovers. Billionaires who claim to be backed by a consortium of other billionaires. But when it comes to actually putting money up, there's always a delay or a problem. You should watch people at the airport. It's always a dead giveaway. How much they work. Work with a teacher who drives a really expensive car dresses really nice and complains about having to work two jobs. You know why they work two jobs. Because they can't afford the shit they bought and are in debt. I don't work much because I am okay with thrift store clothes and used cars. Being in debt is not wealth, it is just spending other people's money you can't afford. They invite you somewhere but split the bill between everybody. When my true wealthy friends invite me somewhere, they will pay for everything because they know I can't afford it, and they don't make it awkward at all. Teeth. Truly wealthy have either taken care of their teeth over the years or have expensive replacement implants sets. International Dollar Student Dollar When one of your floor mates in res just gives all of their clothes away at the end of the school year, 